Hello and welcome to a Minecraft video. I'm Scudo Buyo playing Vanilla Minecraft 1.8.7 PC Edition and this is the ninth in a series of videos in which I conquer an ocean monument. Uh, in this video I will be demonstrating how to remove the water from some of the larger rooms of the monument, uh, the rooms that generate as part of the maze of the monument. Um, uh, not including the treasure room though, that's going to be a separate video. Uh, so if you are looking for another part of the strategy in action, a link to the other videos in this series can be found in the description. Uh, so there are, there are only two different room types here. Um, one is showing the room with uh, no openings in it, and um, this one over here is showing the same room uh, with openings in it. Um, likewise for this particular room configuration over here. Um, I'm going to start with this one. Um, I have to say that this room is really a bit of a pain to, uh, to drain. Uh, on the occasions that I've countered it in an ocean monument uh, in survival mode, um, I, I have a, had a tendency to not follow my own procedure just because um, uh, this room has been uh, such a pain for me. Uh, I tend just to spam sponges to get the water out, but I'll show you a, a way that's a bit more efficient. Uh, so I'm going to start using the same procedure that I was uh, using for the smaller rooms. I'm going to seal off um, all of the exits to this room. Uh, in this case, um, there can be quite a few exits. There can be a total of uh, 12 horizontal exits uh, and a total of 4 vertical exits from this room. Uh, I'm going to seal them all off. So those are the uh, 12 horizontal exits. Now the vertical exits are actually inside these hollow pillars here that are in the middle of the room. Um, if there's an exit to the room above, uh, it would be here. And if there's an exit to the room below, it would be here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and seal these guys up. And after the uh, the room has been sealed, or at least the relevant parts of, uh, of the room have been sealed, I'm going to go ahead and start uh, dropping sponges. And, and I will be using uh, something of the same procedure that I was before um, uh, for the smaller rooms. So I'm going to place a sponge above the, the uh, opening here, or where this opening would be, uh, above and either to the left or to the right. I'm just going to arbitrarily choose to the left here. So I'm going to put a sponge here, I'm starting from the top, um, and then on this side over here, uh, where this opening is or where it would be, I put a sponge over there uh, up and to the left. Here I'm going to sp put a sponge up and to the right. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So on uh, where this opening is or where it would be, up and to the left, and over here, up and to the right. Okay. And that will clear out most of the water from the top of, uh, from the upper part of this room. It is two units high, so it's pretty tall. Uh, it's not going to clear out the water from, uh, uh, from these uh, hollow pillars, though. These are all filled with water here. So um, I, I did place a sponge to the left of that door over there, or that opening. Uh, and I'm going to want to place a sponge in here then to the left as well. Um, but I'm going to want to place it just over the this uh, ledge here uh, right before the opening of the hollow pillar. So I'll put it right there. It has to be right here. Otherwise, it's not going to pick up all the water all the way down into the bottom of the pillar. So it's got to be right there. And I'm going to put another one over on the side here. Okay, so that's, um, that will take care of uh, the water on the upper part uh, of, the, uh, of this room. And I'm going to want to address the remaining water that's down, uh, down in the lower part. Uh, so this is the, uh, the short end of this room. Up here, I had placed a sponge up and to the left of this opening. And the uh, opening on the same side. Instead, now I'm going to place a sponge up and to the right. Okay, and uh, whereas before I had placed a sponge uh, on this side, sort of opposite that sponge up there, now I'm going to want to go around to the other side, and I'm going to want to place, uh, so I placed a sponge up and to the right here, I'm going to want to place it up and to the left above this opening. And I'm going to want to do the same thing over here. Um, there's the sponge up there, I'm going to want to use the opposite corner down here, 
and I placed a sponge on this side uh, to correspond with that sponge up there. So now I'm going to want to place a sponge on this side. Uh, here it's up and to the right, and now it's going to be up and to the left. And that will take care of almost all of the water. There's still going to be some water in the middle here. You're going to have to place one more sponge. Um, uh, it kind of depends upon uh, how, uh, the order in which you place the sponges around here. But you'll have to place one more to soak up the rest of the water in the middle. Uh, and that is how to uh, place sponges uh, to remove the water for this uh, uh, for this relatively efficiently. Again, it's really kind of a pain. I have had a tendency to not follow my own procedure uh, with this room, uh, but that's how you would do it in theory. Uh, okay, on to the other room. This room is also a four-unit room. It's uh, two units deep and two units long. Uh, it's got this really nice, big, uh, dark prismarine pillar in the middle uh, with uh, sea lanterns that uh, provide a decent amount of light. <clears throat> this room, if uh, in the absence of any openings, it doesn't have any ledges along the side, but if, if any openings uh, uh, exist in the side, it's going to generate with this ledge here, uh, along with uh, some columns underneath, uh, regardless of whether this is open or not. Uh, so this opening here determines all of these extra blocks down here. Um, this room is pretty big to just uh, be hitting with sponges, and this is the first room that I'm actually going to uh, going to divide. Uh, but first I'm going to follow standard procedure and kind of seal it up, or at least uh, seal the relevant portions. Um, this room can also have up to 12 uh, horizontal openings and 4 vertical openings. Going to seal all of them up. You don't actually have to go around and seal all of these uh, before you start to drain uh, because um, the uh, the sponges don't actually reach that far. Uh, I just find it uh, convenient to uh, to seal things before uh, before I begin the other procedures. So, and of course, if there were any um, uh, any exits to rooms above, I'd seal those as well. Uh, <clears throat> so I did mention that this is the first room that I'm I'm going to divide, and the way in which I divide rooms is by using sand and sugar canes. Uh, this uh, room is not filled with water, so I'm going to be using lime stained glass as a stand-in for sugar canes, but uh, you'll get the idea. Uh, so I want to place a line of sand across the room, basically just on the other side of where these openings would be, so one block away from the, uh, from the dark prismarine pillar. So place a line of sand right over there. And now I'm going to place uh, sugar canes all the way up to the uh, up to the roof, and it's actually not very difficult to add these sugar canes. Um, you can just uh, swim and, and uh, place them uh, on top of each other, and you can pass through them. Uh, it, you uh, can take fall damage if you try to pass through them all the way up here. It's, it is possible to fall slightly fight slightly um, further than three blocks, but um, uh, it's uh, usually not a problem. Uh, so I've got a line of sand and uh, sugar canes all the way up to the top over here. Again, on the other side, one block away from the dark prismarine pillar, uh, just on the just to the side of the openings here. In this case, um, the uh, uh, the balconies here, the ledges are going to interfere a little bit uh, with my placement of um, of sugar canes. So these ones would go all the way up to the roof. Uh, and then I would want to come up here and add some more sand and some more sugar canes in order to uh, complete the barrier. Okay, uh, once the room had been segmented, it's pretty easy to uh, drain the water out of here. Uh, uh, in the sections on the end, uh, so in this section over here, um, there. Uh, if there was an opening here, uh, or let's, uh, this is where an opening would be if there was an opening here. So up and to the left, uh, right over there, I'm going to place a sponge, and I'm going to do the same thing uh, over here. This is where the opening would be, and here up and to the right. Um, so I've got two sponges there, and I'm going to do the same thing for the uh, lower openings down here, up and to the left, up and to the right, and that will remove all the water from this section. Likewise, from this section over here on the end, 
um, these, uh, uh, this opening here up and to the left, uh, this opening over here up and to the right. Um, that takes care of all the water in the top. And down below, the ledges uh, kind of interfere uh, with the placement of sponges. I'd want to place a sponge uh, right where that prismarine brick is, uh, uh, prismarine bricks. Uh, but instead, I'm going to place it right here. Um, it's, these, uh, it's probably a little overly efficient. Uh, if I try to place another sponge right there, it may not actually um, uh, it may not actually touch any of the remaining water, so, uh, so probably I'm just going to have to place it on the floor. Um, but that will remove all of the uh, water from this section as well. Uh, over here, um, I'm going to be using the sea lanterns as a guide for removing the water from this section. Uh, up on the top, I'm going to hit that with a uh, with a sponge, and I'm going to hit the same one on the opposite side with a sponge. So right here, and then down below, the uh, the one that's uh, on the opposite side of that here, I'm going to hit with a sponge, and the same thing over here. So I've got a sponge up there, I'm going to hit this sea lantern here with a sponge. And that will remove all of the water from that middle, uh, from that middle compartment as well. Uh, and that is how you clear the water from the larger rooms of an ocean monument. Uh, uh, that's it for this video. In the next video, I will be removing the water from the treasure room. Uh, thanks very much for watching, and if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a note in the comments.